Alright, welcome back. So this time we are going to design a simple high pass filter out of a capacitor and a resistor just to show you the frequency response function or the AC sweep as they call it in P-SPICE. So to start off we are going to need a voltage source, an AC voltage source to be exact. So that'll be VAC. There it goes, VAC slash source. And we'll drop that there. And for this, the voltage isn't really going to matter because it's just going to be measuring the uh, output with respect to the frequency of the source. So we'll just leave that at 1 volt. And we'll zoom out just a little bit. Alright, now we will pull up the resistor, so our analog, and rotate that just so it'll look nice. Drop that in and we will set the resistor at 750 ohms. Next we will insert the capacitor. It's the analog and we're going to drop this right here and that is one nanofarad. We're going to change that to just about three. Alright, and we'll double check and make sure that's a 1, so that's positive, and that'll be going to the positive end of the voltage source. Now we have to wire it all up. Alright, got it wired up, and are we ready to run the piece by simulation? If you answered no, you are correct. That's because we still need to add our ground. If you do not add a ground, the piece by simulation will not run. So now that our ground is added, we should be good. So we will grab our voltage marker and we will drop it right here. Since we are measuring the voltage with respect to ground from V out. And sometimes uh, you might get asked to label VN and V out on your schematic. So, and that's a lot of times called editing the net list. The best way to do that is this little ABC right here. If you click on that, if you type V out, then click OK, it'll give you this little box. Now this box you place right up next to the node until the little part turns green, and then you drop it right there, and it will name that node V out in your net list. OK, so for the PSPICE simulation, we're going to create a new simulation profile. I'm just going to call this one high pass filter. And then click create. And I just pulled it up on my other monitor over there. So we are going to want an AC sweep. And this will basically show us if it's letting voltage through or not at a certain frequency. So the start frequency is going to be 100. End frequency will be 100 megahertz. And for some reason, it's really picky and it doesn't like it when you type in 100M. So you just have to type in all those zeros. That's the only solution I have found so far. And then as far as points per decade, I'm just going to drop in 1000. All right, and we're going to click Apply, and then click OK. And then we just have to hit our little Play button right here, and it should generate our simulation. And there we go. That gives us a nice high-pass filter. And you can see it doesn't let much in down here, but towards the upper end of the range, it does plane off and let in all of the voltage. Or let all the voltage through. So this is a simple high pass filter it just shows you your frequency response and along the bottom then your voltage on the side and that is about it for frequency response thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video